Good morning. Hey, it's Friday, May 21st, and I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg. Welcome to Daily Devotions with your church family. This is Mount Horeb Lutheran Church, and it's good to be seen today. We're going to open our, our scripture to hear the words of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 through 57. Now, um, this is a part of, of uh, Paul's writings that um, speaks to resurrection. People um, in the early church had different ideas and expectations about the second coming of Jesus and uh, uh, were worried about their, their loved ones who had already died not being included in the resurrection of the um, the ones who are already buried. So I'm just telling you that as a precursor. Let's just go ahead and hear these words and dwell in them as I read. I invite you to think what jumps out to you, what questions do you have, and what might God be saying to us. What I am saying, brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and the mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying is written, will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord for the people of God. So, um, that's a difficult and complex mystery to, to uh, unravel. Um, the gift of salvation is what the Christ in our home is titled. And that is where um, I find the good news. It's always um, a gift from God. And um, I don't like to dwell too much in the, um, in the how this is going to happen-ness about this, this whole thing. I do like to um, rely on the mystery of Jesus Christ's resurrection. Well, I mean, Jesus' resurrection is not a mystery, for we are Easter people. However, the mystery of what happens when we die um, is something that we will always wonder. Um, and the Romans, uh, the people who were living in Corinth also were, were thinking, oh my goodness, do I have, do I have all of my family and my own, um, beliefs in line so that I may be, um, resurrected on, on judgment day. So, uh, that might be, that's a little anachronistic the way I was just talking. Anywho, basically what I hear is like, what jumps out to me um, because of reading Christ in our home is, is we, we hear a lot in our culture, are you saved? And um, the best answer I ever heard to that question as a Lutheran growing up was yes. Uh, and the date uh, was 2000 years ago and it happened at Golgotha and um, that is when I was saved. Um, people who like to put dates and times are our our beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, but it is good to be in conversation with them. So maybe next time you get asked that question, you can answer in that way. Um, 
because Jesus swallowed death and and the um, final victory is because of Jesus Christ. Um, that's there's really uh, no <laughs> no topping that statement, right? Um, where O oh, death is your victory, where O oh, death is your sting. Um, sometimes, sometimes we can get uh, dwell too much in this, in that, in that we forget to to uh, include Christ's victory over death. For death was um, something to be conquered, and death was uh, some an enemy to be um, confronted, and. And sometimes when we when we read where's where's your victory where's your sting oh death we forget the cross happened Jesus suffered died and was resurrected and it was a real and um, poignant and specific thing that God did through Jesus so it doesn't mean that we we don't we don't view death as a thing it still is we we um have jesus beside us always this is yet another way um pastor hill talked about uh where is god in all of this there this is another way of saying god is with us and god um, will continue to be with us so with that let's close in prayer dear god thank you for today thank you for the gift that you give us in your grace, in your salvation, in you, your victory over death. We ask that you point us in the right direction, that you continue to give us life in, in whatever way that you see that we need today. For each of us need um, a breath of fresh air from you in our spiritual lives we ask for you to be with the people who are especially lonely or need your comfort this day for all of those on our prayer list and everybody who um, needs healing god we are your children and we thank you for all of these things and those things that we have that are on our hearts that we have not said out loud in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Join us for worship on Sunday.